Ever since its release in 2016, Hearts of Iron 4 has gained a reputation for having one of the most active modding communities, with the Steam Workshop filled with hundreds of mods, many of which have been abandoned and forgotten for years now. So in light of this, in today's video, I will be going through the Hoi 4 mods iceberg. I found this chart on the icebergcharts.com website by Cassandra, links in the description. Before we get into this video, I also wanted to say that this iceberg only covers total overhaul mods. So mods like player-led peace conferences and state transfer tool won't be on here. Kaiserreich Kaiserreich is probably, if not, one of the most popular Hearts of Iron 4 mods of all time. As 1936 dawns, the Wellkrieg's legacy lies heavy upon the shoulders of a new generation. Germany stands astride the center of the world, a power without peer, but about its fleet lies enemies both old and new. From France's rising syndicalist international, to the old Entente, to an unbroken Russia and an unrepentant rising sun. All the while, Germany's vast reach has left it dangerously overstretched. Its allies in Constantinople and Vienna have grown estranged, and across the Atlantic, the American Colossus falters. Seventeen years has passed since the end of the war, and few expect the new year to bring a turning point. But soon, a single spark may be all it takes to light the powder keg anew. Vanilla. I'm not sure why this is here, as it isn't really a mod. TNO. TNO, The Last Days of Europe, is set in an alternate 1962 where Germany and the Axis won World War II. In the 1920s, following Lenin's death, Bukharin would come into power instead of Stalin, and in the US, Roosevelt would never be elected. All of this resulted in a very weak Soviet Union and the US. And when World War II broke out, Germany was able to successfully invade Britain and crush the Soviets. The Japanese would bomb Pearl Harbor, and by 1945, just as the US was gaining an upper hand, Germany nukes Pearl Harbor, and the US surrenders. Following their win in the war, Germany's economy would start to stagnate and ultimately collapse in 1950, with Himmler almost starting a coup against the ever-aging Hitler. By 1962, the Axis powers are beginning to lose control as they continue to spiral downhill. The Great War The original Great War mod adds three new start dates to the game. 1910, 1914, and 1919. Aside from that, it completely overhauls the game, adding new World War I tech, focus trees, and decisions. However, it should be noted that this mod has been abandoned for a couple years now, as the creator has moved on to other projects. But there is still a Redux version of this mod that we will cover later in the iceberg. Old World Blues OWB is a total overhaul mod for Hoi 4 in the year 2275 and in the Fallout universe. The game has a unique map only in North America, and new nations, focus trees, tech, etc. I'm not too knowledgeable on Fallout, but from what I can see, this mod has so much love and detail put into it. Millennium Dawn Millennium Dawn puts you in the year 2000 in the modern day. The mod has new tech, focus trees, nations, and even space slash ICBM tech. This mod can really be overwhelming and is infamous for poor performance and lag. But still, this mod has lots of content and is definitely worth checking out. Road to 56 Road to 56 is to this day the most subscribed Hoi4 mod on the Steam Workshop. It overhauls the base game with new tech, focus trees and content, going from 1936 to 1956. For this reason, many people outright prefer it over the base game as it is so in-depth with even spin-off mods like Road to 56 RP having been made. Equestria at War Equestria at War, much like Old World Blues, is a Hoi 4 mod set in the My Little Pony universe. Yeah, I'm not joking. This mod has so much lore and detail put into it, like new tech, a unique world map, and even pony models. But this mod has a cult-like following, with people either loving or hating it. Deluge. Deluge, or Epres Moïla Deluge, is an alternate history mod that asks the question, what if Napoleon won? 
The mod sees old empires such as the Ottomans, the Qing Dynasty and the Russian Empire still around in the 30s, and although unrealistic, this used to be a very popular mod back in the day. However, this mod has long been abandoned, with the creator seemingly moved on to other projects. Darkest Hour Darkest Hour is an extreme realism Hoi 4 mod that begins in 1933, complete with GDP mechanics, a parliament system for certain countries, and a new historically accurate army, navy, and air force setup. Those, along with many more, are all part of this mod, and for that reason, it is extremely unbeginner friendly, with many people treating it like a whole separate game to vanilla. Black Ice Black Ice is very similarly a historical immersion mod but not quite on the same level as Darkest Hour, with it more focused on delivering a more historical and challenging spin on the base game by adding more tech, focus trees, production mechanics and more. For those wanting to get into a more realistic mod for Heart Divine but without learning a whole new game, this isn't a bad option. Kaiser Redux Kaiser Redux is extremely similar to Kaiserreich, but with the main difference being it was created out of combining the original mod with many different submods to create a more fulfilling experience. Other than that, it has slightly changed lore in the universe and, have, and has also tweaked a few things from the Kaiserreich. Red World Red World is an alternate history mod that envisions a modern world where the Soviets won the Cold War. In this timeline, Stalin dies in 1935 and is succeeded by Malenkov, resulting in a more open Russia which saves a lot of money throughout the late 20th century. During the 70s and the 80s, the US would go through a process of instability where pro-communist elements would continue to gain popularity until 1987, where President Reagan announces the disillusionment of the US as states merge together into small camps or trying to regain power. Western Europe, with the exception of the UK, would also fall to communism, with the new left-wing governments joining the Warsaw Pact. Sadly, the original creator of this mod passed away a couple years ago, with the fan fork being continued to this day. Cold War, the Iron Curtain. The Cold War mod completely overhauls the game, adding three new start dates, 1949, 1960, and 1970. The mod has some pretty unique content, like a working UN system, DEFCON and MAD systems, and a shit ton of tech, all to research. Thousand Week Reich. The Thousand Week Reich is an alternate history mod that sees a world where no one really won World War II. In 1940, Britain fails to evacuate Dunkirk, resulting in horrific losses. To add on to this, anti-war leaders get elected into the UK, resulting in them suing for peace and abandoning Europe. With the Allies dealt with, Hitler invades the Soviets, and without any foreign support, they quickly get overwhelmed, with the Soviet government escaping to the city of Perm as German puppets are set up in the West. However, winning all these wars isn't actually the best for Germany. Their new eastern lands that were meant to be inhabited by the Aryan race is under constant partisan attacks, and back home, the economy is also beginning to fail. As the world enters the 1950s, the US, having beat Japan, creates the Toronto Accords with Britain in order to stop Germany and as Hitler gets more old, people are wondering who will succeed him. Hearts of Oak 2 Hearts of Oak, like Black Ice, is a historical overhaul of the base game, adding more tech, focus trees, and generally more historical flavor. Enseek and Primo Victoria These two mods are basically the same, so I'll cover both of them. Enseek is an overhaul mod that adds 10 new start dates to the game, ranging from World War I and World War II. It also adds new focus trees and tech, all correct to the time period of the start date that you are playing. However, Enseek has been abandoned for a while now, and Primo Victoria is the more recent version of the mod, with the main differences being no World War I start date and a new massive Europe map. However, this more recent mod has also been abandoned. Economic Crisis Economic Crisis is very similar to Millennium Dawn, but instead beginning in 2013. It adds new tech, focus trees, and lots more modern day content. Red World Red World is an alternate history mod that envisions a timeline where nobody really won World War I. In 1905, Russia beats Japan in the Russo-Japanese War, causing them to become a lot more powerful than in our own timeline. As a result of this, and the Tsar getting assassinated, when World War I happens, Russia does pretty good on the Eastern Front for a bit, until they start losing. With everyone seemingly tired of the war in general, France starts losing and signs a peace year with the Germans, and immediately after this, communists overthrow the Kaiser and start a civil war, with a military junta being set up and eventually fleeing to East Prussia. The communists make a deal with Russia losing a bit of land. 
However, that doesn't stop revolutionaries from starting a civil war in Russia that the white Russians would soon win. France and the West would soon fall to a new ideology called accelerationism. Yeah, this is one of the more wacky mods. Total War Mod Total War is yet another historical overhaul mod that expands on tech, focus trees, as well as upping the difficulty from the base game. In the name of the Tsar. In the name of the Tsar follows a world where Russia won World War I. In this timeline, the US never went to war with Spain over Cuba, leading them to be more isolated. However, when World War I broke out in 1914, Russia did pretty poorly at first, being pushed out of Poland and being defeated. In 1916 though, the Brusilov offensive would catch Austria-Hungary completely off guard as they got pushed back. Romania saw its opportunity and also joined. Back in Austria, however, the population was beginning to get sick of the war, so they and Bulgaria signed an armistice by the end of 1916. By 1917, Germany seeing that it can't win the war also surrenders. The Treaty of Brussels gave Russia all of its claimed territory, as well as dividing up Germany into the states that were there before unification. The Tsar also insisted on leaving Wilhelm II on the new Prussian throne, which alienated their alliance with France and Britain. In Bavaria, the government will be overthrown by a much stronger Spartacus movement than in our timeline, as well as Hungary falling to a communist revolution. Second Sengoku Second Sengoku is an alternate history mod that envisions a world where the shogunate won the Boshin War in Japan. I won't go too deep into the lore, but basically, as a result of Japan never westernizing and modernizing in the 19th century, they are a lot more weaker than in our own timeline. This mod also features a unique world map with only Japan, Korea, Manchuria, and the Russian Far East included. Make America Again Make America Again is an alternate history mod that details a world where the US collapsed following the 2020 election. When Trump lost the election and refused to concede power, Biden established a rival government and took the White House, with Trump fleeing to the loyalist states as they secede from the Union. With many more states also seceding, the US would be dissolved. This mod also has a unique map focused only in North America. The Gates of Versailles Similarly to Oppressed Moi Le Deluge, The Gates of Versailles imagines a world where the Napoleonic Wars ended in a stalemate, with neither side being able to win. The lore of this mod is massive, covering about two centuries, so I won't be going over it here. Ashes of Libertad Ashes of Libertad covers a world where World War III wipes out most of the world, leaving only Central and South America habitable. In 1962, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Soviet B-59 submarine, having been mistaken that the nuclear war has already started, launches their nukes at the US fleet blocking Cuba. The resulting nuclear war wipes out the majority of humanity, killing billions, and leaving Latin America as the only habitable place on Earth. End of a New Beginning End of a New Beginning has to be one of the most ambitious mods for Hoi4, as it sets to create a game where you can play from 1857 to the 2040s. While the mod is still in development and content only goes to the 1880s, what the team has managed to do is still really impressive. Fraternai and Rebellion Fraternai and Rebellion is a mod currently in development that plans to show a world where the French Revolution never happened. Because this mod isn't now at the time of recording this video, I will skip over the lore for now. Führerreich Führerreich is an alternate history mod that asks the question, what if Germany lost World War I? Wait a minute. Well, not actually, because Führerreich is meant to be asking an alternate history question from the Kaiserreich perspective, if that makes sense. In 1912, Woodrow Wilson dies of a heart attack and Teddy Roosevelt succeeds him. Other than that though, World War I still starts in 1914 and nobody seems to be winning, until in 1917 when the US intercepts the Zimmermann telegram and declares war on Germany and Mexico. In 1919, Austria-Hungary after getting pushed back to Italy collapses and Denmark seeing its opportunity for revenge declares war on Germany. By the end of 1919, Germany surrenders, ending the war. During the 20s and 30s, however, a right-wing movement known as Valkism, headed by Adam Dresler, would gain popularity and overthrow the Weimar government in the early 30s. Sound familiar? Modern Day 4 Modern Day 4 used to be another modern day mod, but ended up merging with Millennium Dawn and is no longer available. 
The Great War Redux. The Great War Redux is a continuation of the original Great War mod that has been discontinued. Aside from adding new tech, focus trees, and general content, the Redux version of the Great War also has a scripted peace deal and no 1919 start date. Nineteen thirty. Nineteen thirty is a mod that is exactly what it says it is. It adds two new start dates to the game, being nineteen thirty and nineteen thirty-three. Aside from that, it also revamps technology and adds new focus trees for nations. Southern Victory. Southern Victory is an alternate history mod that imagines a world where the Confederacy won the Civil War. In this timeline, following the crushing Union defeat and Philadelphia being occupied, France and Britain recognize the South and mediate a peace deal with the North. By the time World War I rolls around, the Union has aligned itself with the Central Powers, while the Confederacy has aligned itself with the Entente. And following the war in which the Entente lost, the Union managed to gain some Confederate land, but not managed to fully annex it. Now, in 1936, both sides are preparing for war once more. The mod is based off Harry Turtle Dove's book series, Southern Victory. Disaster, Death or Peace Disaster Death or Peace is an alternate history mode that is set in a world where the Versailles Conference utterly collapses, with different nations spiraling out of control. Basically, this mod is a worst case scenario for what could have happened following World War I. Stuff like the US collapsing, an Italian civil war, and a French military junta being set up is what happens in this world. Images for this mod are also hard to find, as the only link for it at least to a sketchy mod page online, with no photos. Novum Vexillum. Novum Vexillum is another modern day mod for Hoi 4. It's directly built off the old Millennium Dawn mod, which is why it has its own dedicated following. UMC. UMC or Ultimate Mod Collection is a series of overhaul mods that were made for the base game. However, all of these are outdated and have since been abandoned. Satisfying States. Not really sure why this is here, as it isn't really an overhaul mod. All this does is add more states and cities to the base game. Frederick's Nightmare Frederick's Nightmare is an alternate history mod that shows a world where Prussia and Britain lost the Seven Years' War. The world shows a powerful Austria, France, and Russia, as well as a Germany never unifying by the 30s. Overall, this mod is very old-fashioned, with many old empires still around during the 20th century. Der Bruderkrieg The Bruderkrieg is an alternate history mod that imagines a scenario where Austria won the Austro-Prussian War. After the Bruderkrieg, Prussia and Italy humiliated both adopted ultra nationalistic governments. Prussia abolished and exiled the Hohenzollern monarchy. After being brought to the brink, the old order held, if shakily, against the forces of populism. Despite a socialist revolution in Hungary, the Austrian eagle stands above its enemies, both tensions in Europe growing, Reichs Marshal Hermann Goering's crew in Prussia, and the eagle constantly undermined by its subjects. Will the Congress of Vienna's order hold? Beautiful States Pretty much the exact same thing as Satisfying States. No idea why it's on here. Pax Britannica Pax Britannica has to be one of the most creative alternate history mods for Hoi 4, as it imagines a timeline where Nikolai Tesla's inventions ushered in a second renaissance, with the Great War consisting of coal and steam mechs as they lumbered across the battlefield. This mod is as if time stood still, with the old order still being held well into the 30s, and culture never really changing more into modern ways. AEIOU AEIOU is an alternate history mod that is set in a timeline where the Industrial Revolution never happened. Once again, it's as if time stood still in this mod, as the old order still reigns supreme, while everyone still fights with mock skits and cannons. Sadly, however, this mod is no longer being updated for Hoi 4, as it recently got moved to Vic 3. Hearts of Azeroth Hearts of Azeroth is a Hoi 4 mod set in the World of Warcraft universe. I'm not too knowledgeable on Warcraft, but from what I can tell, this mod has lots of attention to detail put into it. Countdown to Weirmageddon Countdown to Weirmageddon is a total overhaul mod focused around Gravity Falls. Once again, I'm not too knowledgeable on the series, but from what I can see, it's a cool little mod. Reich's Commissariat Ruckus Reich's Commissariat Ruckus is a very difficult mod to find, as it's no longer on the workshop. However, from watching different videos, it seems to be a mini-game where you as Germany controls the entire world in 1948, but countries will slowly start to rise up against you. Moerreich Moerreich is an anime adaptation of Kaiserreich, complete with new loading screens, portraits, etc.
Mapamundi. Mapamundi is a total overhaul mod that is basically a map creator in the game. It's a pretty cool little mod, but doesn't have too much to offer as far as gameplay goes. The Red Order. The Red Order is kind of like Führerreich, where it's an alternate history mod from the TNL perspective, about what if the Allies won World War II. This mod is no longer available on Steam, however, meaning that information for this is quite scarce. Kaiser World. Once again, information for this mod is scarce, as it hasn't been released yet, but from what I can tell, it's a sequel to Kaiser Redux set in the modern day. Viva Lampera. Viva L'Empereur is an alternate history mod that is set in a world where France went on to win the Franco-Prussian War. As a result of this, Germany never forms and World War I as we know it never really happens. By the time of 1936, Prussia is looking for revenge and the French Empire is beginning to fall apart. 1984 Basically the title, 1984 is a Hoifo mod based off of the widely popular 1984 book by George Orwell. This timeline tells of the story of the Italian regimes in concert war. I won't go into the full story as it is widely known, but other than that, this is a mod that has been abandoned for a while now and hasn't received any updates. Rise of Nations Much like End of a New Beginning, Rise of Nations adds multiple new start dates from 1900 to the 2000s. Other than that, it adds lots of new tech and general content. TNO, the Community Expansion TNO Community Expansion is a sub-mod for the TNO mod, as it aims on adding content for nations that have fallen behind focus wise in the base mod. A Very British Civil War A Very British Civil War is an alternate history mod that is set in a timeline where Edward VIII never abdicates in 1936. As a result of this, a constitutional crisis occurs which involves the entire United Kingdom collapsing. Faith in Steel the Sentry is the first one in the iceberg that I couldn't find any information on, so if you do know what this is about, let me know in the comments. New Ways New Ways is a historical overhaul mod for the base game that expands on focus trees, tech, and general content for different nations. Early Modern World Another entry that I couldn't find any information on. Beautiful States Reborn Another state mod that is on this list for some reason. Chant of the Forgotten Chant of the Forgotten used to be a very popular mod for Hoi 4 before being abandoned. The premise was that it adds focus trees and content for nations that didn't have a DLC yet. Extremis Ultimus Extremis Ultimus is an alternate history mod that covers a second American civil war in the year 2023. Aside from adding new tech, focus trees, and factions, this mod also has a unique America map. A Place in the Sun a Place in the Sun is a sub-mod to the vanilla game that adds more Reich's commiserates. Once again, this isn't an overhaul mod, so I'm not sure why this is on here. Fuhrer Redux Much like Kaiser Redux, Fuhrer Redux is an expansion to the base Fuhrer Reich mod, adding more sub-mods, general content, and updating the base mod to the latest version. Beyond Earth Beyond Earth is an alternate history mod set in a futuristic dystopia where following centuries of war, humanity is ready to escape Earth as one final massive war is set to commence soon. The Failed Revolution The Failed Revolution is an alternate history mod that imagines a world where the US never won the War of Independence and remained a British Dominion. In this timeline, the British Empire is slowly beginning to crumble while France, the still main enemy, holds most of Europe under their control. And meanwhile, in the Dominion of North America, General MacArthur and other pro-separatists are planning a coup against the Loyalist government. The Fire Rises The Fire Rises is an alternate history mod that is set in a much more unstable and shaky 2010s and 2020s. In this timeline, COVID-19 was a lot more destructive, and the Western world in general is rapidly losing stability as civil war is on the horizon. Ride for Ruin Ride for Ruin is a total overhaul mod that is set in the Lord of the Rings universe. Unfortunately, I'm not too knowledgeable on the series, but this still seems like a pretty cool mod. Well guys, that is going to be it for this video. In about 25 minutes, we were able to get through half of the iceberg, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the video here. As we have seen already, the further we go down the iceberg, the weirder and more mysterious the mods get. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out when I upload part 2 soon. With that, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you next time.